Welcome to Salt Lake City. I'm Steve. And I'm Derek. We've been in lockdown. Yeah. For the like, last... Uh, so we're, this is a little bit of a different setting today. We usually are at the shop, but today we're at Steve's house. In the garage. Yeah. Bikes, stuff. Garage uh, stuff. So our question for the week, and please comment below, is this virus has obviously impacted every one of us in very different ways. Mm -hmm. And we've all adapted in different ways. So what are the hacks that you're using? What are the things that you're doing to, to get by? Mm -hmm. Is there something that you've made? Is there a special process you've developed that seems to be working for you? Share below. We would love to know just, I mean, obviously because- Personally. We would, we would love to know. <laughs> we wanted to respond a little bit to everything that's going on with the whole COVID-19 situation. Obviously this has affected basically everyone in the world. And I know that it's it's easy to feel like there's nothing that we or you know anybody can do uh, as just average people to actually help and contribute in some meaningful way. It's easy to feel helpless. One of the best things that you can do in a situation when you feel helpless is, is have something to do that that is beneficial and you're contributing to uh, the overall benefit of helping the world recover from this pandemic. The tools that we have uh, that our babies are the Glowforge, obviously the laser cutter, and uh, we've used the 3D printer extensively. So we just wanted to, to show you guys a couple of the things that we've been doing over the past couple of weeks to, to help to aid and assist the people that are really on the front lines of this, the people in the medical field who are actually fighting this disease. And so these are things that if you happen to have access to a laser, if you have access to a 3D printer, these are some things, and we'll include links to files so you guys can do some of this stuff. Project number one. Face masks weren't designed to be worn for days and days and days at a time. And so these, uh, these people that are in the medical field are developing like blisters and really bad irritation on the backs of their ears because they basically have to use these masks 100% of the time. There's, there's a couple of different kinds of masks that they use, but the ones that are used most heavily are really simple. They're just um, basically some cloth with these ear loops, these elastic straps that you put around the back of your ear uh, and it holds it to your face. It's, very, it's a very basic design. I was asked uh, by someone in the medical community if there was any way that we could use the 3D printer to create little, um, they call them ear savers. Uh, they're basically little braces that you can loop face masks onto uh, so you don't have to loop them around your ears. When, when she asked me if this was something that we could do, I looked at it, I, I messaged Steve and I was like, hey, do you think that this is something that we could make? And he actually found the file within like five minutes and started printing them like before, I think before you even responded, you're like, yeah, you're like, yeah we're making them right now. Mm -hmm. um, you can see it's got four notches on the side. We found this on Thingiverse. Mm -hmm. um, and the really nice thing about it is it's so flexible. Really simple print. You can print six of these in about an hour. Mm -hmm. um, you just ramp up your, I'll throw in the settings as well that I'm using uh, to, to speed things up on the printer. And this uses hardly any filament. Like, yeah. You can make tons of these. Uh, with with very little material, uh, as evidenced by these. And I love that. Uh, in addition to the the ear savers that you printed a like a stand for them, so that mm -hmm. they could have them just like centrally located and grab one uh, when when they're ready to use one. These are, uh, in fact, I'll include a link to the stand there as well. These are going to a nonprofit here locally. Mm -hmm. and there's a couple different designs. We can cut in mass ones out of acrylic right here mm -hmm. from, the, from the laser. And we took a design that was out there. We believe we improved the design a little bit, and so uh, we'll go ahead and include a link to that design in the description. This is something that you can create a, a tremendous number of these if you have access to a laser in a really short period of time. Um, we're printing them out of, uh, what is it, 330 seconds acrylic? Yep. Mm -hmm. Which is available uh, at Lowe's, Home Depot, you know, any any hardware store in the Windows section. And the, it's actually called Optics. Mm -hmm. It's the stuff that we're using that has a little bit of flex to it um, versus some of the acrylics we use for other projects. Next one is another design that we found on Thingiverse. 
uh, but we modified it a little bit. The problem, and one thing we didn't like about it, was the amount of acrylic waste mm -hmm. that this one has. All this stuff. All this empty space. Ends um, up just being discarded. We took this Ikea... What, whatever the... Friggin' oven. I think you put spoons in it or something. Um, and we put, put, the, put the flat piece of acrylic right on it, put it in the oven at, what did we decide, 300 degrees? Yeah, it was about 300. We just watched it till it started drooping, and then that way we got a nice curve, so it curves more to the back of the head. Mm -hmm. Back of the head. That's a little bit more time consuming, obviously, but uh, like we said before, the nice thing about the acrylic ones is that they can be cut very, very quickly. Yep. So you can make tons of them really fast. Still use, I would still recommend using the transfer tape we talked about before, mm -hmm. or painter's tape on there. Um, and you're gonna wanna kinda rinse these down a little bit with maybe some rubbing alcohol or something to, to cause the smoke and stuff gets on there. Yeah. Okay, last one is the Salt Lake City design. In fact, it has our little logo in there and we'll, we'll share the file down below. Um, the nice thing about this one, so you take your acrylic material and you can actually use 95% of it because of the way that this particular one is nested. All of the little lobes interlock with interlock. other ones, so you don't have any waste material between uh, each individual ear saver. So this is actually taken from a Glowforge design that Glowforge put out. One issue we had with theirs was it was a little short, mm -hmm. um, and so we stretched it out a little bit, um, made it a little bit longer, uh, so that uh, people who have big heads like us, us uh, <laughs> can actually use this. Um, welcome to give it a try and try bending it as well if you'd like, mm -hmm. if you're using it for yourself. The last project is one we're in the process of doing right now. In fact, I saw someone selling these made out of brass. Really? On Facebook. Hmm. Um, it's essentially a door opener. It's funny how you don't really think about this in day-to-day -day life until there's actually like a really big problem. But we are constantly all sharing surfaces all the time. Which is why we have these door openers um, that are mainly used to open pull doors, but also has a knob on it to be used on touch screens. Um, and if you're using a brass or metal one, that works. If you're using one out of acrylic, like we're gonna use, the issue is acrylic doesn't address touch screens. So we have a fix for that and we'll show it to you. Um, that I know anybody can do. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, you can do this same fix that we're gonna show here in a little bit on just about anything that you might wanna to use to chopsticks, sticks, pencils, all of that will work with this fix. Sure. Let's show you how we're gonna do that and then also the file we shared down below. Okay, let's get to it. That's our build for the week. Thank you for everyone who subscribed and liked and shared our content. Um, we are blown away every day we look at um, the number of people that are engaging with us, um, asking us questions. We it's, try to respond to everybody. It's pretty cool. We've had tons of questions in the comment section. Ask us and one of us will get back to you on that for sure. Mm -hmm. So if you have the ability, we would urge you to go ahead and do what you can uh, to help aid and assist in this time. 
share that with us as well. They can go up on our Facebook page, comment to us in our, our comment section. Yeah, if, if you make some, like take a picture of them and drop it into the comments. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks guys, and with that, keep calm and make on. See you later. Bikes! <laughs> right there. <laughs>